Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the Cordling, and he is one example of someone who used to do magic content and has grown to do other related content. I say related loosely, and has grown bigger than the largest channel, which is Tolarian Community College. I think at some point, Tolarian Community College just has to admit that as a magic channel, his growth is limited. And one good example of this would be Darium. Darium's used to be a Magic the, Magic the Gathering channel. Then he became a Pokemon channel, and he has found much more success and the potential to grow faster. So by choosing to leave Magic the Gathering and only focus on Pokemon, a, he didn't have to deal with the Mana Source or Tolarian Community College and the drama they create. Which, if you want to know more about that, there is a video, a Skype video, with Darium's, the Mana Source, and his friend. The video mentioned Tolarian Community College as Brian, and the fact that Brian won't support Darium anymore because the Mana Source told him to, not to. Now, the growth of a magic channel, um, he... Tolarian Community College has done everything correctly. This is as big as a magic channel can get today. The quarterlings growth is A, much faster, and B, the ceiling is much higher. So at the end of the day, I would say Jeremy, even though it was a rocky path, he won out because it's numbers. Numbers, donations, views, whatever you want to call as a metric. Jeremy makes more money than Tolarian Community College. The Quarterling is a bigger channel. The Quarterling receives more views. And the growth, the path of growth, as I will show you later, based on Social Blade, is just much huger. There is no, and even the grade, the grade is, Tolarian Community College is a grade is a B, Jeremy's grade will see is a B plus. So he won out, but he could never win out if he was only a magic channel. Just like Darium. Darium could not win out unless he was a Pokemon channel. He had to do something different. There were multiple Pokemon channels over a million subscribers. So many of them. What magic channels over a million subscribers? And that is the that's the interesting part about Magic the Gathering is your growth growth is limited. It's limited by the biggest channel at this time, which is Tolarian Community College. He's trying to do some new stuff. He's done key forts. He's done the sleeves and the binders. Sometimes he'll put Pokemon in the title. So it's not... He understands the writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. The quartering, I really believe that if Wizard of Coast treated Jeremy the same way they treated Tolarian Community College, that the quartering wouldn't even be a channel. It was something he was mildly interested in, but became fascinated in, and had the time. So instead of working on his magic channel, he was banned for life. He couldn't make magic. He couldn't play magic online anymore. They took away his account. They banned him for life, which. Think about the other dude who recently got banned for life, Alex Bocchini. He cheated probably 20 times, was caught 20 times, cheated maybe a thousand times over, over a decade of cheating. And finally, they said enough. They said enough, but it took him two non-lifetime bans to get to the point of the third lifetime ban. While they banned Jeremy just lifetime straight off the bat. And it is my belief that when you are a brand like Hasbro or Wizard of Coast, creating enemies is something that you should never try to do. You're a brand. And I have never seen a brand actively create people to... So Jeremy got an uncommon to spoil. He put time into a video... And at this point, he was A-OK -okay with Magic the Gathering. You receive this card to spoil. It's not a mythic planeswalker like the Manor Source gets every time, but it's a, nonetheless a card. 
and the video, Jeremy doesn't post a video on Reddit. Someone posted a video on Reddit, and the f number one comment is, this guy is disgusting. How could we give him a card to spoil? So then we have our good friend Wizards of the Coast, who are big Redditors, right? Incredibly political, incredibly to the left. And they come in and they say, yeah, we would never do this. This is always a mistake. Jeremy is scum. He's a customer who just purchased tens of thousands of dollars of magic cards. And this is how you treat your customer. Vengeance is coming for you. And it's very... <laughs> and I'm so glad that they got... They will get a taste. They will get a taste of what vengeance is like. Because I know Jeremy is a very spiteful person. And I know that his videos are not positive of magic. And many people watch his videos. Therefore, it does have a impact because when someone searches the keyword Magic the Gathering, 50-50. If Tolarian makes a video and Jeremy makes a video, Jeremy's video will show up first about Magic the Gathering. That's how search engine optimization works, which makes sense because Jeremy owns a agency, a digital marketing agency that does the same things I do, so I know exactly what he's doing. Tolarian Community College is a failed professor. Not, I, I really don't want to use the word professor because he doesn't have a PhD. He only has a master's. And more to the point, it's almost like a teaching assistant. It wasn't like he was teaching at a prestigious university full-time. It wasn't like he was teaching at a university full-time. It wasn't like he was teaching anywhere relevant. He didn't even want to teach. He just wanted to get donations. Can I have... A dollar. He will go down forever. <laughs> Can I have a dollar? Get a job. <laughs> then you can have all the dollars you want. So anyway, this is the social blade. And Jeremy won out because regardless of how you... If we are unbiased, if we are just about the numbers... Jeremy's channel is growing faster in views and subs. It has now overtaken Tolarian Community College. Um, his fan base is more rabid. So we, if they ever got into a argument with Tolarian, he would win. He would absolutely win. And part of it is Tolarian's fan base took a while to grow. His fan base didn't take it because... His fan base is more new. That's why sometimes you'll see really old channels with a million subscribers. They'll post like a new video and they'll get a thousand views. It's because their fans are gone already. They maybe don't even watch YouTube already. And that's what's happening with Tolarian. But less of a problem since the, with Jeremy since the quartering is a newer channel. All the analytics, all the numbers point to that Jeremy has won this war. And it was a war. He's still very, very... Um, I would say that he will probably never forgive the professor for that video, comparing him in some way to the Holocaust. That was a um, something else that came out. That first of all, that came out left field, right? It's not. It, it just came out of nowhere. It's like what did he just say? Like, and the end result was Christine left to go take a better job in nursing. So if Jeremy encouraged this in any way or discouraged her from continuing a magic career, I would say congrats. Look at everyone who's done a magic career and look at what they've done if they don't do magic. Darium's is a very good example. He needed the, the toxicness to be so bad, he just said, enough, I'm going to get rid of my magic channel, which was a big channel at, the point, at that time. I'm not going to sell magic cards. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to move to Pokemon. 100% the correct decision. And look at his channel now. Look at everyone. Andrew Yanyuk got caught for cheating. Went on a massive rampage against Magic the Gathering. A massive rampage. Like a tirade that you haven't seen before. Because it was old school, which I appreciate from Andrew Yanyuk. 
Then he went on to be an esports owner, and um, he owns like ten million dollars, and he is the number one Hearthstone player. Look at everyone who left Magic to do something else. They've been successful. They've been richer. They have more subscribers. Brian Kibler was one time called the handsome, the most handsome man in Magic. He had titles. He had the adoring fans. He left Magic for Hearthstone. Look at him now. And then compare Brian Kibler to the people who stayed. Their subscribers, their things. And maybe Kibler comes back. Maybe he doesn't, but he doesn't need Magic. And he's proving that with Hearthstone. So people like Tolarian who are betting the farm on Magic the Gathering. I can tell you that farm is on fire right now. And what I can tell you is you will never get bigger than the quarterly. If your bet is on Magic the Gathering. Because Magic the Gathering is boring. It is a bunch of reprints. Consider me. Consider how I grew up with Magic. We would get new sets and the new sets would be a new plane. And then there would be new planeswalkers. Not planeswalkers. New legendary creatures that would be kind of fun. They would have a story and then they would have a book. And they would do all this creativity about you know the cards and the setting. I remember reading the Exodus book with Mary. I was like, oh man, that's a great book. And the Fall and Crovox and the whole crew, the whole Weatherlight crew. That was fun watching them come from the planes of Wrath. And I still remember all this stuff because it was amazing. Today, we just keep going back. Innistrad. Then we went to Zendikar. Then we went to Innistrad. Then we went to Ravnica again. And then we're going to go back to some... I'm, sh I'm sure we're going back to Meriden. Wait, we've been back to Meriden again. So we've been to Meriden twice, Nitsendokar twice, Ravnica three times. Am I missing anything? Do Domania twice. I mean, guys, we're running out of planes to visit. And we're running out because there's no creativity. There's no newness. It's like, imagine a video game. And instead of like making a better game, we just rebooted the old game and we tried to sell it for more than the old game. <laughs> I mean, it's awful, right? It is awful. So at the end of the day, no matter what you think about Jeremy, what you think about the quarterling, as a human being, as an individual, he won out. There's no question in my mind that he won out. And that's the way it should be. It's the way that it always has been. It's been the way with Darium. It has been the way with Andrew Yanyuk, who went to Hearthstone. Brian Kibler. It's been the way with all these people who left Magic for Hearthstone. They found bigger and better fish. And that's the sad part about Magic. Most of the content creators here don't even play Magic. You get invited to a $1 million invitational of 64 players, averaging about... Twelve, thirteen thousand dollars just by going to Pax East, and you stream less than thirty free minute, uh, thirty free hours of MTG Arena total. That's all that it took. Some people have streamed zero hour hours of MTG Arena. What is wrong with us? What's wrong with that? Think about that. What's the criteria? The criteria isn't based on analytics or logic. It's based on feelings and emotions. I feel that I deserve I should go. I feel that I deserve this person should not go. The best example I have about our community is someone posted of what are your favorite magic content creators? And the majority of people, instead of saying who they like, they said who they didn't like. <laughs> tell me again that the magic community is not toxic as F because I can give you all the hateful tweets I don't mention it because why would I mention it I just live in it and I like it the toxic you know the toxicness of the environment is very becoming so when someone when someone uh, posts something and is offended by the quote response by one individual. I just say it's the internet. 
it's an internet. Why are you offended? Do you did you expect someone? Do you expect that individual to love everything? Do you expect everyone to always love you? If that's your expectation, and it is for a lot of these magic content creators, I'm here to break reality for you. You might be able to get ninety or hundred thousand dollars for a GoFundMe for medical reasons and irresponsibility once. You're not going to get that again. No one in this community is going to get going to be able to start a GoFundMe and raise that type of money. It's not possible anymore. It was a scam. It was a scam. I mean, all signs point to it was a scam. No one in this community is ever going to make a video saying, can I have a dollar? I quit my job or I lost my job or something bad happened to my job. and I decided to do magic full time. Now give me all your money. That's already been done. We are going to see a storm in the next few days. It's going to be a beautiful one. A beautiful storm. 